Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Dave of Dave D Fishing. Um, I just started up this YouTube channel and I made a, I made a pickerel fishing video and I've gotten a couple questions on what they should be using as far as catching these pickerel in the spring. So in this video I'm going to be covering the types of baits I bring with me and I think by me sharing this video with you it'll help narrow down the bare essentials of what you need to bring with you as far as baits to go catch these fish. Um, as far as a rod, generally I just use a maybe a seven foot rod, medium action uh, that's rated up to three eighths of an ounce and like 15 pound braid, spinning reel, just keep it nice and simple. Do a swivel with about 24 inches of 15 pound fluorocarbon just because the pickerel have teeth. And that will allow you to flick these lures really out and cover a lot of space in a short amount of time. So I'm going to go over jerk baits with you. Mostly, most of them are made by Rapala. Those are my favorites. They're a little pricey, but the quality is good. The hooks are good. The colors are good. Um, I'm going to go over some spinner baits and um, some general soft plastic stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, this is just a guide to what you should bring with you as far as baits. Um, make sure you bring stuff that's bright colors. Um, so I have some hot cut colors here. The oranges, yellows, chartreuses, bright reds. Try and pack those. Try and get suspending jerk baits. And I'll go over why in this upcoming clip. Um, that's really it. So if you guys like this video, um, please give a like and subscribe, and I hope you guys use this knowledge, go out, catch fish, and just enjoy what the outdoors have to offer you. Thank you. Alrighty guys, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the types of lures I like to bring with me when I'm going pickerel fishing. So to start off with, you notice most of these baits laid out, out on the floor in front of me are very bright colored, so I have oranges, chartreuses with the redheads. This fire tiger color from Rapala, same thing. Chartreuse, and then spinner bait wise, sort of the same thing. Greens, tension getters, smaller spinner bait. So I'm gonna go through the jerk baits first. So my personal favorite are these X wraps. These are suspending jerk baits. Um, again, bright colors. These come come in a four and three quarter size, four inch size. These are suspending jerk baits, so that means once you cast them out, start retrieving, they're going to dive down because of this bill. And once you stop retrieving, they are going to sit in the water column. Um, so with jerk baits, as the name implies, once you cast them and you start retrieving them, you give a couple twitches, stop. Don't be afraid to actually rip on the rod a little bit. That's that's what they're made for. You're not going to hurt anything. Just make sure you do a good leader on on these and, and with any of the lures. I usually use like 15 pound fluorocarbon leader on these. Um, they do like maybe 24 inches length of the fluorocarbon. So cast these out, give a couple twitches, stop for a second or two, and then do the same thing again. I would switch up how often you twitch and how long the pauses are. Um, the randomized action I feel like can trigger a strike. And then again on these X wraps, both of them, both sizes, on these have these feathers attached to the rear treble hook. So I feel like that's another one of those features that might get a pickerel to bite one of these things. So when these things are being twitched and then stopped, this treble hook initially is sitting out like this, and then it'll fall down. So what these pickerel like to do, they'll charge after these things in short little bursts until they get close enough to bite. Um, usually it's that last little twitch when they're a foot away that will get them to strike these things. And then with the jerk baits, just sometimes the sudden stop in movement, it stops right in their face as they're progressing towards the lure and it's just an instinctual thing to grab the bait because it's right there. Um, this is the Rapala Rip Stop. Same idea as with the X Wraps. These work really well. They're jerk bait. Use them the same. I feel like on these guys, the three hooks is a little overkill on this. Um, I'd almost take out the center hook and just 
keep the front and rear and maybe add a treble with this feather on the back just to help the action, but use this the same way. And again, bright colors, suspending. Um, the suspending baits also keep the bait from moving up and down in the water column. They're more controllable as far as fishability and retrieve, so they're not sinking into the weeds, they're not um, floating up, so it stays right in the fish's face, which is what you want. These pickerel aren't flying around in the spring, they go, they do short little jaunts from spot to spot, either waiting for food to come by, or I've seen them sunning themselves on the weed beds, and you do not want to be in the weeds with this thing, you want to be right above it so the fish can see it. Um, this next bait is the rip and wrap. So I believe this is like a two and a quarter, or two and three quarter, or maybe a two and a half inch bait right here. So bright colors, super loud. When I use this on the boat, I can actually hear the rattles through the hull of the boat. So this has a really tight wiggle. That's not wobbling all over the place. It stays pretty stable like this. Super loud, super bright. Um, I don't normally like using this from shore because it this thing does sink and it's pretty dense, so it sinks pretty quickly. Um, so you, again, you don't want these diving into the weeds, the rocks. These are not cheap, so I think this is like eight bucks. These X wraps are about twelve bucks a piece, and they are hard to find, especially with COVID nowadays and supplies and that type of thing going on. So moving forward, so we have this swim bait. This is a larger swim bait. Um, this is the Rapala BX Swimmer 12. Great bait. It's a weird jointed bait. It has this really small lip that I feel like doesn't do much. The bait sinks itself about a foot. Um, has a nice wide wobbling action. Up here with the one of the forage baits being perch, yellow perch. This is an excellent color. Super bright easy to use, um, use it with the bait casting rod, spinning rod, any of these, I, it really doesn't matter. Some people will say something about using a spinning rod with this type of bait, but use whatever you have accessible to you to enjoy the fishery. Next up, spinner bait. So this is a tiny quarter ounce, I think it's, it might be a Strike King, um, single bladed spinner bait. So I use this in the spring for pickerel also. So spinner baits, I like them in the spring because you can reel them slow and they usually sink pretty slowly for the most part because these blades are keeping them from fall free falling through the water column and into the weeds and the rocks and all that. Um, good bait, bright colors, I'll keep saying that. Bright colors, um, erratic retrieves if you can vary them up. These are Twitch, twitch, pause type of deal. Same thing with this, twitch, twitch, pause. Um, this can be a slow retrieve, and even you just slow down the tree for an instant, keep reeling. This one's a rip. This, this one, you literally let it sink, rip it up, and it'll vibrate, let it fall, and the pickerel can eat that on the fall. Um, and this guy, as far as soft plastics, I don't like using soft plastics because the pickerel will rip it up and stuff isn't cheap nowadays, but this is an option. This is the Storm 360 GT. Um, it has a peculiar jig head on. It's epoxy. It's really light. It's maybe a quarter of an ounce. It rattles. Um, makes a ton of noise. Also added with the paddle tail. More than enough noise. And because the head is epoxy and it's lighter than obviously lead or tungsten, this thing falls pretty slowly and it's nice and controllable. This is a good lure if you're just learning how to fish for pickerel, bass, whatever. Good option. These comes in these come in pack of threes. Um, sort of annoying because these rip really easy. Um, you can buy replacement bodies and such for them though. Um, there's another spinner bait. This is three eighths of an ounce. Similar deal with the retrieve for these two spinner baits. And lastly, soft plastic jerk bait. So I will really only use these if for some reason I haven't found fish and I have to look in the weeds for them. So read them wiglet, riglet, or weedless. So this little spring right here will twist through the nose of the bait. And then this portion right here will come up and through the belly of this 
soft bait right here there's actually a pocket so put that right in there and that's really it um, like I said just bring a couple different baits with you you're gonna lose some um, if you have these Rapalas right here available to you and they're in stock grab a couple of them it's really hard to find these things nowadays I usually buy five at a time um, so you can be mad at me if you go to Bass Pro and there's nothing there if you want um, so I like to use artificial lures for pickle in the spring. That's just me. You can use live bait shiners, even dead baits for them. Um, I can cover that in a different video, but I just want to help you guys at least know what to stock when you're going out. Make sure you use fluorocarbon leader. Um, I use 15 pound test, 24 inches length with a swivel on it and like a, bra a braided main line, maybe 15, 10 pound test just so I can swing these things out there on, um, medium light rod so alrighty guys I hope you enjoyed I hope this helps and if you like this video give a like and subscribe thank you bye